Bus Philippines MRT4 Project, Philippines' first monorail line and second rapid transit line, is finally up and kicking after the awarding of the detailed architectural and engineering design contract to the Spanish design consultant EDOM Consulting Engineering and Architecture SA last Friday, October 1, 2021. The design stage for the MRT4 project is slated in the fourth quarter of 2021, while early works for the project are targeted to start in the second quarter of 2022 with year 2025 as target of completion. The new MRT4 train system will connect the eastern portions of Metro Manila including parts of Quezon City, San Juan City, Mandaluyong City, Pasig City, as well as Ortiga Center to some towns in the province of Rizal. The MRT4 project was originally approved by NEDA for implementation in June 2015 under the Aquino administration as one of President Ninoy Aquino's private-public partnership projects. Construction then was slated to begin in 2017, while target opening date was in 2021. When President Duterte took office, the project was revisited and was only re-approved last December 20, 2019, with some modifications in the project. The 2015 approved MRT4 project was 18.4 kilometers long with a budget of 42.89 billion pesos. In the plan was 13 stations which included Taytay, Elwood, Bonifacio Avenue, Pasig, Miralco, Julia Vargas, Lourdes, Edsa, Wakwa, Acacia Lane, Kalentong, Dupel, and Magsaysay Boulevard. The 2020 newly approved MRT4 project has been reduced to 15.56 kilometers but with a budget of 59.3 billion pesos. And in the final approved plan, there will only be 11 stations which would include Taytay, Manila East Round, Tikling, Cainta, St. Joseph, Rosario, Meralco, Edsa, Green Hills, Boni Serrano, and N. Domingo. Also in the plan are two more stations which could be built in the future when demand increases. And these are the San Juan and Tiendesetas station. MRT4 will have a right-of-way alignment along N. Domingo, Ortigas Avenue, and Taytay Diversion Road linking suburban Taytay Rizal to the Ortiga Center Business District in Eastern Metro Manila. When finished, this project will significantly reduce the volume of vehicular traffic along Ortigas Avenue and will improve connectivity in the eastern parts of the metropolis including the nearby municipalities in southwestern Rizal. For more construction updates and news on Philippine economy, please like, subscribe, and ring the bell of Booming Philippines. Have a great day, everyone! What you're giving, that's how we live it. Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed. I hear a lot of people talking like they politicians and choose to be an accountant because it's safe in the business. Not because they want to do it, just because they heard it pays. And who the fuck wants to be...